my channel, Anchor Life 5. I am coming at you today with hopefully some helpful tips um, for beginner crocheters that I have learned. I am a self-taught crocheter. Thank you to YouTube. Um, I taught myself how to crochet in a very, very short amount of time. Um, I sat with a couple of ladies and they tried to teach me and I just wasn't getting the hang of it, so I decided to try myself, and I think I've come quite a far away, so I wanted to share a few tips that I have found that were extremely helpful to me, and hopefully they will be helpful to you too. Um, the first thing is your hooks. There are so many different hooks out there. This is just a few of mine. Um, I have light up hooks. I have um, these type of hooks, and this one, and these type of handles, and this type of handle, and this type of handle, um, and then I have a whole bunch of these that I bought when I first started. These right here, and it's really just comfortability. Whatever feels the best for you. Um, out of all of these, I really, really like these handles the best. They are just comfortable for me. They are easy to hold. Um, and like I said, my personal preference. Another thing with hooks that I did not know when I started crocheting is they are sizes. Sizes and letters. This is an 8 millimeter. This one is a 5, a 4, a 10, and a 4.5. Did not know that when I started. I saw it, but I just didn't pay attention to it. Come to find out, it coincides with the yarn. Another helpful tip, tip for you. On your yarn right here, this is for knitting with the two needles, and this one with the hook is for crocheting. It tells you, for this weight of yarn, use a 5.5 hook. You can go up a little bit or go down a little bit. I wouldn't suggest going too much more because it, it's, it's going to help with, um, with your stitches for sure. This one is a 5. Let me find my 5 here. goes with this hook. Um, like I said, you can go up or down. It's up to you. But you don't want to use a hook like this with this kind of yarn. It's just not gonna, it's not gonna work out yet. My personal preference. I did not know this was on here when I first started crocheting. Came across it and <laughs> it's very helpful. Another thing about the yarn. I did not know how to start yarn when I first started. I had always you know, found that piece that was hanging out right here, and this is where I would start my yarn from. Come to find out that's not how you use yarn, because when you do it like that, it rolls all over the place. So what you do is you actually start at the end. Um, now this is complicated, because when you pull this out sometimes, it will come out beautiful just like this and you just keep going and keep going and this gets smaller and all you have to do is tighten this wrapper up but it keeps it all in one spot this one was super easy now this one I pulled it out and it came out like this not a big deal this happens quite a bit you just find the end of it and you start from there. It's super easy to find. Um, it's kind of like the luck of the draw, whichever, whichever yarn you come across. Um, another helpful tip that I had to learn the hard way is to count. Okay, as you can see, these are some of my very, very first attempts at crocheting, and you can tell that it is not an even square at all. Here's a big one that I did, and Lord have mercy. Yeah, 
not a perfect square at all. For the life of me, I could not figure out what I was doing wrong because I just kept crocheting into every, every stitch. Come to find out, you need to count your work. So whatever number I was crocheting up here, obviously I was crocheting a lot more down here. Helpful tip. What I came across were some different products to help with this. These are my favorite. These are little clips, and I use these all the time. Um, they are super, super easy, and they just hook, you know, right onto your stitch. Um, what I do is if I'm doing something large, like a blanket like this, and let's say I'm going 200 across, I will do it in 20s or 25, and that way I know every 20 or 25, I put one of these and it it helps so much where I don't have to sit there and count one two three four all the way up to 200 it gets ridiculous I also found these I'm not a huge fan um, they're kind of cumbersome to use and they've got like a little hook right here and a plug-in and it just it, it's too much work it, it's too much work um, I don't really recommend these the same with these stitch markers. Um, these aren't as bad because they just, let's pull one out here. Um, you just kind of, you open it up. See, it's I'm having trouble right there. And you put it around your stitch. I just found that these little yellow, like clippies, these just work the best. And I believe I got these at um, Michael's actually because you just pinch it and you put it there. And that's my personal preference, what I found works best. Um, another tip for y'all is don't buy into the little gadgets and gizmos because you really don't need them. I thought I did when I started, and this is a tally counter to help me keep track of my, um, my stitches. And you put it on your finger, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's gonna count for me. I don't have to do any work. Yeah, no. You still have to sit here and press it every single time. What a waste. Um, go with these. These are incredibly awesome and they are just, they're wonderful to use. Now, when I first started and I came across, you know, I was watching YouTube videos on, on how to crochet and the one common thing I kept coming across was how to hold your your hook. Okay, I tried and I tried and I tried and the way they were holding their hook did not work for me. Um, so I found a way that I felt comfortable holding my hook, what worked for me, and I it works for me and I don't see any difference in the way I hold my hook and my stitches and the way that you are taught to hold your hook. I'll get to that in a minute. A slip knot, super easy. It looks so complicated to do. Take it between your fingers, twist it, and you pull it through. Super easy. Stick it in, pull. You're taught to hold your hook. I don't even know how to do it. Some way like this, and your yarn is like wrapped around your fingers some way. I, I don't have any control. It's supposedly it's supposed to be the best control you have crocheting. I don't have any control like that. I found the easiest way for me to hold my hook is like this. I mean, I literally, I just grab a hold of it and, and I start going. I, I use my thumb a lot to kind of push my yarn down when I'm crocheting, um, my tension seems to stay the same and I don't have a problem with it. I have tried holding it like this and holding my yarn all funky like that, like you're supposed to do. And I mean, for the life of me, kudos to y'all that can, can do it. Cause I can't even wrap it around my fingers like that. I, I just can't. I, I feel like I have no control over it. And I watch people do it and they just, 
you know, like look at that, like zoom right through it. I just can't. Holding it like this just works best for me. That would probably be the biggest tip is to figure out what way you feel most comfortable holding your yarn and your hook and go with that. Um, there are so many wonderful videos out there on how to start crocheting and look on my channel because I will be doing one of those here soon. Um, but these were just a few like little tips and tricks that I learned that hopefully are helpful to each of you. Um, if you like this video and you did find it helpful, go ahead and press that like button and subscribe to my channel, Anchor Life 5. Thank y'all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!